a rise to the top like Acno will most likely never be seen again. Like every year, our winter seasonal championship would kick things off. However, Acno would not only win winters, but he would win six straight tournaments in a row and with his teammate Blaze would win 17 2v2 tournaments without losing for the next two and a half years. That's two, two straight years. years in a row undefeated. That's pretty impressive. That would Come be, on. I mean, it, they've already made history and at this point they're just continuing yeah. to make history. Akno had his own run-in with the European curse after winning the winters, spring and summer seasonal championships, but falling short during autumn. Oh, um, oh my God, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Simple take this seventh win straight from under Acno. Acno was a strong combination of all those before him who were once at the top of the European scene. Incorporating a lot of the signature mechanics used by those before him, Acno had a very unpredictable playstyle and character pool. He can play just about any legend, and at a certain point in time, between 2020 and 2021, would win tournaments on all of them. This large character pool makes each tournament exciting as he continues to surprise us with new picks. Even recently spotted using Kaya to take out Europe's number one PR'd pro, Godly. I was here for the comeback, oh, but man. GG, we gotta be excited about Akno. Some of Akno's greatest feats include winning a tournament using Nash, defeating the Ninja 729 with Sidra, despite that legend being synonymous with the Ninja, and all the while tearing it up with his teammate Blaze in 2v2. Blaze, what about the recovery? Get it, get it. It. Blaze and Akno win! They are DreamHack Rotterdam 2v2 champions! Akno unfortunately could not make it to this year's midseason invitational, but it had nothing to do with his performance this year. Consistently battling godly at the top of the European ladder is why you should keep your hopes up and eyes on Akno as he takes to BCX in hopes to put his region on the top of Brawlhalla. Well, again, it's the world championship. Anything can and will happen, but I think a lot of favoritism in terms of numbers does go towards Akno. Akno not only has proven he could do the impossible by shutting down Godly, but may be able to do the same with Luna. Akno's history with BCX tournaments has been rather unfortunate. After having two consecutively dominant seasons in the single side of tournaments, Akno has fallen short of taking home a BCX title. Maybe it took a year of being thrown off the top to dig deeper and adapt for more tournament victories. While most of the world has its eyes on Godly and Luna, it's important not to forget about the most dominant pro in all of Europe's history. It will be exciting to have multiple top European competitors this year at BCX and potentially witness Akno take home the championship title in his third attempt for gold.